how might cli climate change affect tropical storms then? So climate change will actually alter the conditions that cause tropical storms to form. So if you think about everything that we need for a tropical storm to form, temperature is actually really important to that. We need the sea temperature of at least 27 degrees Celsius. That's an important fact to remember. You should have done that in your sheets earlier uh, during the lockdown. So a warmer Earth will mean that as temperatures increase, sea levels will start to rise. So the level that the sea is when it reaches the land will actually get higher. Rising sea levels will mean more storm surges. So if you remember storm surge was that big wave of water that crashes into the ground, that flood that rises up from the sea. So if the seas are already high and a storm makes flooding happen, that flooding is gonna be worse. Number two, a warmer atmosphere will mean that the air can actually hold more moisture. So that's why it's better when you're drying your clothes outside to do it when it's warm, because the, the water in the clothes can actually go into the air. The air carries a lot more moisture when it's warm. So the trouble is when that comes to storms, that will mean that we get a lot more rainfall because there's already a lot more moisture in the air and that would lead to even more flooding. So you might be looking at this thinking climate change is going to make tropical storms worse. Well, we're going to have a little think about that and look at some of the information. Are tropical storms actually going to get a lot worse from climate change? How exactly are they going to change? So we need to look at some specific detail. So there's a few tasks to do below. Uh, try your best. Don't worry if you get them wrong. Remember, it's called learning. Good luck. So we need to have a little think about how tropical storms are affected by the climate and the change of the climate in particular. So the Earth getting warmer. So first of all, we need to think about the intensity. So the intensity is how strong a hurricane is or a tropical storm, how much damage it causes, how powerful the winds are. So as the Earth gets warmer, we can see that there is an evidence of a link between warmer oceans and the intensity, so the destructive power of tropical storms. Predictions suggest that for every one degree Celsius in sea temperature means a three to five percent increase in wind speed. So as the seas are getting warmer, the wind is getting stronger. If you remember, seas need 27 degrees for a hot, uh, tropical storm to form, so therefore warmer seas is going to make a stronger hurricane. We also need to think about frequency. Frequency means how often something happens. So the frequency of tropical storms is surprising. It's actually expected to either stay the same or actually decrease a little bit. So the total amount of storms, there might be fewer hurricanes every year. However, the number of severe storms, so category four and five, the fastest, strongest tropical storms, are actually expected to increase. And the lower storms are expected to decrease. The final thing we need to think about is um, the distribution, where we find tropical storms. So the regions which suffer from tropical storms is not actually expected to change much. Storms can form slightly further north and south of the equator where the, um, the heat is warm enough for them to form. However, the areas that they'll be hitting, the general areas that will be damaged by tropical storms, is going to stay about the same. So, in summary, intensity. Storms will get stronger um, as the sea gets warmer. Frequency. The amount of storms will stay the same, however most of them will now be really strong storms. And the distribution. Generally the areas that will be affected will stay the same, however storms can start to form further north or south of the equator, so they get stronger. Use this information to answer the next few questions. Good luck.